All right, so we're going to use the graphs to get f times g of negative 2. So we need to know what f of negative 2 is and g of negative 2. And then we're going to multiply the answers together. So f is the graph that's on the left here. We need negative 2. The value is 4. And then g, we need the value of negative 2, so we go to negative 2. Make sure you include use the one that's included, the closed circle. Not the open circle, use the closed circle. The value is 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. 3. f of g of 3 means you start with g of 3. And whatever we get, we're going to plug that answer in for f, into f. So g of 3, g go to 3, find the value. The closed circle tells us the value. We get 3. Plug in 3, we get 3. So we're going to take that value of 3 that we just got for our answer to G. Plug it into F. So now we plug in 3 to F. Plug in 3, we get 1. 